Hi there, Joka here. And in this video, I'm going to show you a few projects that I've created with the Spabinders Stitched for Christmas collection that is new today. And I'm going to show you the collection first. I think I have all the pieces as far as I remember. So this is the my this is my favorite. <laughs> it's a stitched uh, sweatshirt and or sweater and um, you can add a few things to it um, well three different things that you can also stitch you can also create small ornaments from it um, I will show you what I did with it then uh, the next one is a, a poinsettia uh, and uh, what was the other thing? Holly, I think, that you can create, but I only use the poinsettia and I actually didn't stitch this. Uh, as you can see, you can use these two different ways. There's a, a stitching uh, template kind of die and a normal die. And in this case, I used the normal ones because, um, I don't know, they are so small. I don't like to stitch uh, something that small. Um, the next set is this um, fun Christmas tree and I actually forgot to use one piece of this, that that little um, curved uh, stick. I don't know what to call it. I entirely forgot about that one. And then there is this uh, background that is... Um, as you can see, there's stitching holes in it, but there's also peer, um, some some pattern that you can pierce into the background. It's uh, really nice. So first of all, I'm going to show you what I or how I stitch. It's super simple. I tie a knot on my thread. Um, actually, I messed it up here, so I'm tying a, a few more, and then. I am going to, by the way, this is this is the DMC thread that I use. It's on the Spabinders um, website. You can buy it there. Um, so I kind of anchor uh, my thread in that um, knot that I just uh, created, just so that I don't have to use any kind of glue on the back. I I don't trust glue in this case and by the way i don't know if you've been here for a long time and you've you've seen me um stitch before especially using um metallic thread this is not the metallic uh floss that i used to use uh, it was a different uh dmc floss and that was super hard to use it kept kept coming apart and by this one is also six strands but it's not coming apart as easily so this one was really easy to use and i could stitch really quickly so um yeah the only problem is that i almost used all my <laughs> thread now so um now moving on to the snowflake and you will see that this one has two different um actually i don't know what those parts of the snowflake are called <laughs> well you will see what i mean so um here is the first one that i'm stitching this has a different pattern than the one next to it so every other uh, one will have the same pattern this one has a bit more um design to it then the next one is uh, a bit different you will see that i think i left both of them in the video and what i wanted to mention still i was actually supposed to create three videos for today um um, unfortunately, I had no time to create any projects with the classic Christmas and uh, then my friend Jana's beautiful new collection. Um, but I will be working on them in the next days, and I don't, I don't, I don't know how long it's gonna take. But I'm going to try to 
uh, create something and share with you because they are both wonderful collections with a lot of beautiful pieces. So back to stitching. Um, I haven't stitched paper in a long time because I I was kind of tired of it, but now I really wanted to do it. And this one, um, this collection is perfect for it because it's really easy and quick. And so this one here, you can see that everything is embossed into the background. So you will see where you are supposed to go with your thread. Uh, this one actually uses a lot of thread because you see you cover uh, a really big surface. And so I ended up uh, stitching only the left part of this panel because I realized that I wanted to add um, flowers to the right side and I don't like to glue things on top of uh, stitching uh, or thread, especially not metallic thread. On normal one, I don't mind. Uh, that's gonna hold my glue anyway, uh, but on, on metallic anything, nothing, no glue. Um, stays there forever so um also the other thing i wanted to mention that all the uh, stitching panels that i uh, created they are two layers at least two layers of cardstock um just so you can see that it, it's not um bending in my hands as i um as i'm adding the stitching i i like the these panels to be sturdy so that's why I glue together uh, several pieces. In this case, it was two because uh, I used Nina Solar White cardstock, the heavyweight one, one I think it's 110 pounds. So two of those is, uh, is good. So I'm trying to um, add more thread. As you can see, it really... It really uses it a lot <laughs> as you go back and forth on this one. And then, um, I don't know, this card that I'm creating now, I, I'm i not sure if I like it. And I think it's in the in the colors. Again, very often when I don't like my cards, it's it's due to the colors. It's too much white for me. You know, you know me, I don't like white. Uh, that my, I do like white. It, it, it's just that I like colors more. But um, I didn't know what color I should use for this panel, so I just went with white. Um, so for now, I'm adding some foam tape here, and I so that panel is actually a two size, but I like to create five by seven. Uh, cards so that's what I'm doing here and to add a bit more color to that white I matted the background with a color cardstock and now I'm pulling out my tool in one that has um, it, it was in this uh, floral set uh, of tools that you can create uh, these really realistic flowers with and there's a teeny tiny ball tool in that. So I'm adding some detail to my poinsettias and uh, the leaves because I am not using the stitched uh, poinsettia. So it kind of looked a bit boring. So I'm adding some details to it, which is very simple. I just uh, score them in the middle and then shape them a little bit and for this i also used four leaves um, originally i wanted to add six but they are really large so i didn't now this one here this merry christmas sentiment is actually from the i think from the classic uh, christmas collection i needed some sentiment here but this was really big um then I pulled out some of my foiled sentiments. I will try to find these if they still have them and link them in the description box, but I don't I don't actually know what um, set this is coming from because I have 
uh, pre-foiled sentiments, a lot of them over the over the past years. So, um, and I'm just adding this because I didn't want to foil anything new and um, the Christmas sentiment itself, the die cut one was just, it was too big, but I did love the Mary part. Um, so I, I wanted to use that. And so I'm just adding a red foil sentiment and I don't mind if it, if it now um, has to marry in the sentiment. Um, then uh, first, actually, I almost added Merry Wishes because I, I also had a foil sentiment that said Birthday Wishes. And that was a bit bigger than this one. Um, so I could have cut it apart. But it, the foiling wasn't as pretty as on this one. <laughs> so I went with this Merry Christmas one. Okay, so I'm now um, gluing down my poinsettias and the leaves. And then this card is um, ready. And then I'm moving on to the sweater. And I wanted to create shape cards, actually. Um, so I glued uh, together a white panel and a color cardstock uh, die cut. And then the the part that I cut for the back side of the card, I just added as an extra layer. I changed my mind because it's not a solid piece and I didn't like that to be my um, the, the back of my card, if that makes sense. So I'm actually going to create a either an ornament or um, a gift tag. So I'm placing the ornament topper on my sweater instead of the little um, decorative pieces that would normally come onto the sweater. And I die cut a, a circle for the back um, in case I want to use this as a gift tag and want to write names on it or, you know. Um, and then I added this little joy die cut, which comes from, I believe, also from the classic Christmas um, collection. I think later in the video I'm actually going to show you which set it's coming from. Um, so my sweaters are the same, they are just different colors and then I use different uh, ornaments on the on the front. Well, in, in fact, they are not ornaments now, they are just decoration. And um, so that joy is coming from this set. It's um, a mixed uh, dye and glimmer set. Now uh, there is this, this is also from the classic Christmas collection, this uh, embossing folder. And it's very similar to this month's uh, 3D embossing folder club. Um, it's gorgeous, look at that. So much detail, it's so beautiful. So um, for my tree, that's gonna be the background. I wanted to, to keep it simple. Um, Again, these layers, all three layers, are to uh, consist of two cardstocks layers. One of them, a color cardstock, and then also a white heavyweight cardstock, so that they are sturdy. As you can see, when I'm holding it, it's really not bending at all. Um, so I'm adding stitching to this. I actually wasn't planning to add stitching but then I changed my mind and it's really really fast with this thread luckily so uh, I am not going to show the whole thing uh, just how I started it but if you have any stitching um, dies from Spabinders then this is going to be uh, familiar because um, it's it's exactly the same concept where you go uh, around one hole back and forth and that's how you create a, um, the pattern so yeah and then I'm gonna show you what it's gonna be like when it's done and uh, I will add foam tape to this to be honest I prefer to put my foam tape in areas where there are no holes so that you cannot see it 
uh, when you turn it around. But on this one, there was simply no no space where there were no holes. So it's not bad. I I think you cannot really see it. So uh, this little um, trunk piece um, or stand, whatever you want to call that, um, that also had a little bit of stitching. I, as always, I'm adding double-sided tape to my embossed panel and this is going to uh, make it look less warped. And then I also trimmed off a little bit from the bottom of this because I want to add a die cut sentiment at the bottom and I don't want to add that on top of a, a 3D embossed panel. So I die cut the little joy sentiment from four different colors, two pinks and two reds. And then um, I just added, um, yeah, like a repetitive sentiment at the bottom because I wanted to add colors. What it, actually, what, what I wanted to do with this tree first is uh, add different pinks and red um, thread to it. So let's say I add a light pink at the top and then I'm going through darker pinks and then red at the bottom uh, with the stitching, I mean. But I was too lazy to go through my um, my uh, threads. So I just went with the gold. Okay, so these are my projects for today. And in fact, I created one more sweater because they were so cute that I really wanted to. And um, they were actually pretty uh, fast to, to create. So I'm going to show you that too. The third one will be the one that was not in the video. I hope you like these projects. I hope I could uh, give you some ideas how to use these products. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.